Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Kana Bridge of Spirits. This time I'm going to show you how to take down the final boss of the fields section, the Corrupt Woodsmith. The Corrupt Woodsmith is part puzzle, part combat boss. Starting off the fight, when the boss is glowing silver or blue, you'll notice that there is a blue beam attached to the boss. You want to throw a bomb onto the village heart chamber, shoot it three times until it turns red and the beam goes away, and now you can lay into the boss. You want to try to deal as much damage as possible during this section, because in later phases the boss becomes really, really aggressive, and there are also adds to deal with. After the boss gets back up, she will move into the center and begin banging on the village hard to reignite it. As this happens, rings of fire will be emitted from the center that you need to jump over. However, as this is happening, until the second she turns silverish blue again and that shield reappears, you can still hit her. You can completely ignore the adds by rebombing and reshooting the village heart. Once the heart explodes, the adds go away, and then you're free to just attack the boss. So that's what I recommend doing. Just don't even bother with the adds. Don't give them any time to even approach you. Just go for the gold with the village heart. Once the heart has been replenished again and resealed in its chamber, you just rinse and repeat now. At this point, we're sort of in like phase 2.5 but we just have to bomb the chamber one more time. Unfortunately, that ad jumped in front of my bomb, but luckily I upgraded my capacity to two, so that helped. So we're just waiting for the bomb to explode, and we're gonna shoot it three times again. Make sure to jump over the fire ring, and then with this third attempt, the boss will kneel again, only for a split second, and then it jumps into the center, and now it's going to become fully empowered, and we're gonna enter phase two. In phase two, the boss now gets a sword and hammer, so she's basically just gonna be dual wielding the whole time. And this is where things get really crazy. This is why you wanna try to deal as much damage as possible in phase one. So from here, the boss has a number of attacks. She will no longer ever be shielded, but you want to try to keep your distance from the boss while peppering her with arrow shots. That's really the best strategy I can give you. Try to build up courage with re repeated successive shots get some melee in there, but then you want to use your rot arrows, the empowered rot arrows, to deal as much damage as possible. You can aim for the center mass. It did look like there was a courage point in there. I'm not sure if I ever managed to actually hit it. Um, I could be wrong about it being in there, but it certainly seems like it. It could just be a heart of fire, though, now that I'm thinking about it. Sometimes the boss will jump around. When that happens, she will stomp on the ground, and then rings of fire will come out. So we're going to shoot her with a rot arrow here. Unfortunately, that doesn't stagger her or anything, but it does deal some decent damage. So we're at about 25% HP right now. More fireballs are coming out of the center. You don't want to stand in the center. That is fire damage. And here come some adds in this final little phase here. You can kill them to gain some courage if you need, um, but you can also just ignore them. It's really up to you. The boss can attack them herself, but she slides around really fast, and it's just sort of a... Uh, and it's pretty chaotic at the end of this fight. I, I can't exaggerate. As you can see, the boss becomes really, really fast throughout this period. Um, you can parry her just like that. Perfect timing, literally. Uh, but it is pretty difficult to deal with. If you have extra courage points left over, just go ahead and use Rod Hammer. That is always the most powerful ability versus these bosses, it seems. But once the health bar goes down... The rot swirls around, and then you just press L1 to pulse and finish the fight. That's it. It's a pretty chaotic fight. This did take me a bunch of attempts, um, but once you sort of get used to phase one and you know that you can just ignore the ads, it gets a lot easier. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Kana, Bridge of Spirits, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The link for that is in the description below. I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.